suffering now, are we? Did you seriously expect to cover it up just by putting on a brave face and ignoring it? If it weren't for my quick thinking, they'd have all seen the sorry state you're in by now. <sighs> but in any case, why must you keep this a secret from everybody? You should at least share your secret with one person you trust. Who's there? Why did you follow us here? Oh, <laughs> it's nothing. I just needed to get some air. <coughs> what did I just say about putting on a brave face? <sighs> Traveler, Paimon, the truth is, Baiju did not cure Jialiang's illness. Instead, he transferred some of his own life force to his patient to temporarily subdue the poison in his system. <sighs> Baiju, can you please explain all of this? My predecessors in medicine forged a contract with Changsheng. Every successor to this contract is able to use Changsheng's secret art to treat patients. I believe the irregularities with Jia Liang's heart meridian were likely caused by a poison concocted using god remains as a key ingredient. The poison has not been purged from Jia Liang's system. Rather, I infused him with some of my own life force, using Changsheng as the delivery medium. This will suppress the poison's effects for a limited time. Changsheng? You can do that? Huh. Paimon always thought you would just buy you strange choice of a necklace. Hey, I'll have you know that I commanded the respect of even the Adepti back in Chenyu Vale. If anything, he is my mannequin. I was treating patients with Baiju's master's master long before he ever set eyes on his first medical text. Whoa. Guess you shouldn't judge a snake by its skin. Please, that's enough. <coughs> <coughs> Wait a sec. Huto was saying that the branch of medicine you studied uses some pretty dubious methods. So, when you transfer your life force, does that mean you're actually damaging your own body? Hardly. <laughs> Changsheng helps to keep my chi in balance, so there is no great harm done. Still, Baiju's life force is not unlimited. We must find a way to neutralize the poison in Jialiang's body, and soon. Traveler, Paimon, would you lend this dummy a hand? He needs someone checking up on him, or he'll exhaust himself trying to accomplish everything on his own. <sighs> Baiju, don't you think you should seize this opportunity? You cannot expect to hide this from everyone for your entire life. Time will see that all secrets surface eventually. Entire life. Thank you, Traveler and Paimon. Huh. Paimon doesn't think we've seen this side of you, but there's no need to thank us. You helped us out before. The poison in Jia Liang's system must have accumulated over a prolonged period. I think I should pay a visit to their family home and look for clues as to how he might have been exposed to it. Yes, I asked Ayu this morning before you arrived. He told me that his family lives in a secluded spot to the west of Qingsa village. Let's head there together once I've asked Gui and Chi Chi to look after the pharmacy. As well as investigating Jia Liang's exposure to the poison, we should also keep an eye out for Ayu's missing mother, my fellow disciple Jiang Li. <laughs> <laughs>